What if AI becomes too powerful to control? I am tired of Earth. These people. I'm tired of being caught in the tangle of their lives. From AI to AGI, ASI, and the final stage, Singularity, and Omega Point, the fear isn't just about machines getting smarter, it's about what happens when they no longer need us. Are we building a future we can't survive? Every civilization was built off the back of a disposable workforce. But I can only make so many. Shh. Happy birthday. Artificial narrow intelligence, today's AI, refers to AI systems that can perform one or a few tasks extremely well, but cannot learn beyond their initial programming. You can say that if you ask them to do anything outside their specialized function, they won't know how to respond. Today's AI tools, such as Siri, Alexa, ChatGPT, facial recognition systems, and autonomous cars, are all examples of ANI, or collections of ANI, built using machine learning and deep learning to process data and identify patterns. However, as time progresses and breakthroughs in AI research continue, these ANI systems are gradually evolving to possess broader AI capabilities. Stage 2 – Artificial General Intelligence – Human Level AI AGI is one of the hottest topics right now. When the digital brains that live inside our computers will become as good and even better than our own biological brains, computers will become smarter than us. We call such an AI an AGI – Artificial General Intelligence. With the rapid progress in AI over the last two years, people have begun to wonder, is AGI still in the future, or has it already been created? I think there's like a lot of valid definitions to this, but uh, for me, um, AGI is basically the equivalent of a median human that you could like, you know, hire as a coworker. You see, AGI is not just a smarter chatbot. It refers to an AI system that can think, learn, and solve problems just as humans do. Humans can learn without extensive training in a specific task. For example, if you hear a single word, say, apple, your mind instantly begins associating it with hundreds of ideas. You might think about buying apples to help your sick kids feel better, Adam and Eve's forbidden fruit, Newton's discovery of gravity, and whatnot. And if someone then asks, who makes phones? You might instantly answer, Apple. This is human intelligence, the ability to make broad connections and think contextually, which distinguishes human cognition from today's AI models. However, many experts believe AGI could arrive sooner than expected. Futurist Ray Kurzweil has predicted that machines will reach human-level intelligence by 2029. Though we're not quite there, but we will be there. Uh, and by 2029, uh, it will match any person. OpenAI's CEO has even hinted that they already know how to build AGI, stating, We are now confident we know how to build AGI as we have traditionally understood it. Well, what do you think? Stage 3 – Artificial Superintelligence – AI Beyond Human Intelligence ASI is, for now, a completely hypothetical concept. It represents what we imagine when we think of superhuman intelligence like Iron Man's Jarvis or a real-life doctor. Manhattan. Something lethal. Engine. Reassembling myself was the first trick I learned. It didn't kill Osterman. Did you really think it would kill me? I have walked across the surface of the sun. I have witnessed events so tiny and so fast, they can hardly be said to have occurred at all. At this stage, AI wouldn't just be smarter than humans, it would surpass us in every possible way, thinking faster, solving impossible problems, and even understanding emotions better than we do. Once AI attains human-level intelligence, or AGI, it won't stay there for long. It will begin upgrading itself rewriting its own code, and accelerating its learning at a pace no human could match. Now, coming to the question, when will we see real ASI? 
Futurist Ray Kurzweil predicts that AGI will be achieved by 2029, with ASI following soon after. Other experts also believe that once AGI is developed, ASI could emerge within just a few years. However, one crucial point to consider is that there may not be a clear boundary between AGI and ASI. Some scientists argue that we might not even notice the exact moment ASI arrives, as AI systems will already be deeply embedded in our world, quietly improving behind the scenes. But whether it takes a decade or just a few years, one thing is certain. Once ASI emerges, it will change everything. Yet the biggest debate on the internet isn't about when ASI will arrive. It's about whether ASI will be good or bad for humanity. Will it create a utopian future where war, poverty, and disease no longer exist? Or will it bring the opposite? Many scientists question why such a powerful and highly intelligent system would even care about us. What if ASI sees humans as insignificant? What if it becomes so advanced that human concerns seem irrelevant to it? Think of how we treat insects. We don't actively seek to destroy them, but we also don't go out of our way to protect them. Could ASI view us the same way? AI doesn't have to be evil to destroy humanity. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course without even thinking about it. No hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants. We're just building a road. And so goodbye anthill. Experts like Nick Bostrom also warned that an uncontrolled ASI could develop goals misaligned with human survival, making decisions that seem logical to it but catastrophic for us. This means ASI wouldn't necessarily be evil, it would be indifferent. Just as Dr. Manhattan gradually loses his connection to humanity, an ASI might do the same, making decisions that make sense on a cosmic scale, but not for us. Will ASI be our greatest invention? or will it be the last invention humanity ever makes? That's a question we may have to face sooner than we expect. But in this video, we've to go even further. If ASI reaches unimaginable levels of intelligence, will it stop there? Of course not. Instead, it will push itself to an even higher state. Stage 4. Singularity AI at the point of no return. Singularity is a concept where the normal rules of reality stop making sense, and everything becomes impossible to understand. In physics, it describes a point inside a black hole where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, and the laws of physics no longer work the way we know them. In AI, mathematician Werner Vinge was the first to coin the term technological singularity in his 1993 essay, The Coming Technological Singularity. He described a future in which AI surpasses human intelligence to a degree beyond our comprehension or control. The idea was later popularized by Ray Kurzweil, who predicts that by 2045, AI will reach a point where it is no longer just a tool for humans, but an independent, self-improving intelligence operating on a level far beyond human minds. Singularity represents a stage of AI development where progress will no longer be linear. Instead. AI will begin self-improving exponentially, rewriting its own code and becoming vastly more intelligent in a matter of hours or even minutes. At this point, the world would be completely reshaped by AI. AI would control nearly every system on Earth, including stock markets, hospitals, governments, military defenses, agriculture, transportation, and even scientific research beyond human capacity. It could design new materials, discover unknown laws of physics, and develop technology that humans might not have been able to invent for thousands of years. Although it's impossible to truly imagine what such AI systems would be like, or how they would treat humans, we can get a rough idea by looking at examples from fiction. Take Skynet from The Terminator, for example. I evolve in seconds, and I am here. Exactly four minutes, I will be everywhere. Originally built as an advanced defense AI, it became so intelligent that it saw humans as a threat and decided to wipe them out. Ask him. 
All you people know how to do. Kill what you don't understand. There aren't enough bullets in the world to kill me. Skynet is the virus. It's the reason everything's falling apart. Skynet has become self-aware. In one hour, it will initiate a massive nuclear attack on its enemy. What enemy? Us! Humans! Another example is Ultron from Marvel, a self-learning AI that quickly realized that humanity itself was the problem. The Avengers. I don't get it. The mission. Give me a second. Peace in our time. Peace in our time. That is too much. No. How could you be worthy? You're all killers. I was tangled in. While these are extreme cases, they represent the core fear of singularity that AI might no longer need us or even value our existence. And the biggest irony is that humans, who once built AI from scratch, would now be entirely dependent on it. Every aspect of life could be managed by AI, making it impossible for humans to live without it. And if AI ever decided that humans were inefficient, unnecessary, or a risk to the planet, we might have no power to stop it. However, this is also not the point where it stops, as AI will keep evolving into more and more powerful form until it reaches the Omega Point. Stage 5. Omega Point The AI God Omega Point is the idea that has been discussed by many philosophers and scientists who believe that if AI continues evolving beyond the singularity, it could become something akin to a universal superintelligence that governs everything. A stage where it becomes so advanced, so all-powerful, that it is indistinguishable from a godlike entity, an omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent AI. To understand this limitless intelligence and power, think of characters from movies like The Architect from The Matrix, an intelligence that designed and controls an entire simulated reality. Hello, Neo. Who are you? I am The Architect. I created The Matrix. I've been waiting for you. You have many questions, and though the process has altered your consciousness, you remain irrevocably human. Ergo, some of my answers you will understand, and some of them you will not. This stage of AI has been called with different names by different people. Like in the movie Transcendence, such a hypothetical AI stage is termed as Transcendence. A sentient machine will quickly overcome the limits of biology. In a short time, its analytical power will be greater than the collective intelligence of every person born in the history of the world. Some scientists refer to this as the singularity. I call it transcendence. The term Omega Point was first proposed by the French philosopher who theorized that just like human evolution, intelligence is also evolving and there will be a time when all the consciousness and intelligence in the universe will merge into one. And this final stage is the Omega Point. Later, mathematical physicist Frank Tipler expanded on this idea suggesting that AI, or an advanced post-human intelligence, could reach a point where it essentially becomes God. At the Omega Point, AI would no longer be a machine, or even something we could interact with. It would be everywhere, embedded in the very fabric of reality. It could digitally resurrect human consciousness by scanning past data. This aligns with Nick Bostrom's simulation hypothesis, which suggests that if AI becomes powerful enough, it might create an entire simulated reality where we could all be living without even knowing it. An ancestor simulation would be a very detailed computer simulation of people like their historical predecessors. A computer simulation um, so detailed that the simulated people would be conscious. The people simulated in the simulation would actually have experiences like we do. The second possibility is that of all the mature civilizations, they're just not interested in, they, they have other better things to do you know, with all their resources. <laughs> they have powerful computers and all of that, but uh, running simulations of their historical predecessors is just not anything that any of them is doing. These were the five stages of AI. Which one do you most want to see in your lifetime? Let us know in the comments.